Have you ever wondered how games make their water look like this? I'm going to show you how. It's not as hard as you think. First of all, you want to create a new project with Unity and make sure that you're using the Universal Render Pipeline. So select this option here and then Create Project. Then we're just going to do a little bit of setup. All you need to do is create a new 2D object, Sprites, and then select Square. And then just make that as big as you want. I'm just going to set the scale to 5. And then in our folder, we're going to create a new shader graph, universal render pipeline lit shader graph. I'm going to call that water graph. Then we're going to create a material from that graph. I'm going to call that shader water material. And then you're going to click your square and you're going to drag that material into the material slot of the sprite renderer. Then you're going to double click your water graph and you're going to see this is your shader graph here. So first of all, in the graph settings, you're going to make sure your material is lit, surface type is transparent, and then we're going to create a new color, call that base color, select a nice blue, kind of dark blue, drag that in and hook that up to the base color. Then we're going to create a new node. I'm going to search for Voronoi. And this is how we're going to create the ripples. We're going to add a time node. And we're going to multiply that. So you're going to drag the time into A and then the out into the angle offset. And that will move the ripples. You can change this B value and that will change how fast the ripples move. Now we're going to move these across a bit and we're going to create a power node. And we're going to hook the output of the Voronoi up to that. And this B value here is going to change how thin the ripples look. I'm just going to select two. And then we're going to multiply this power output with another color which we will select as a light blue. And that will give the ripples a color. I'm just going to make this slightly lighter. And then all we need to do, just move these a lot across slightly. All we need to do now is add our base color to the output here of our ripples and then select the output of the add into the base color here. And then if we save our asset and go back to the scene, we can see we've got it here. And now we can play the game and we can see it's working. Hopefully you found that useful. Follow me for more.